1967, under the Johnson administration, the Justice Department began to send strike forces into various cities, beginning with Buffalo, to attack organized crime, using all law enforcement agencies available on a cooperative basis. Since then, 13 strike forces have been established. In New York City, there are two of them. One of their targets has been the Mafia, the tightly organized confederation of criminals of mostly Italian descent. The government has convicted at least two important mafiosi, Carl Gambino and Sonny Franzesi. But many Italian Americans began to protest that Italian Americans were being singled out and that they were being harassed, that even their families had not escaped the prying of the FBI. Organized by one of the biggest mafiosi of all, Joseph Colombo Sr., they picketed the FBI and last Monday held an enormous rally. This man is Joseph Colombo Sr. He's described by law enforcement agencies as the number one mafia boss in New York, the head of a Brooklyn family that controls organized crime. Colombo has a history of at least a dozen arrests, but only one conviction. On Tuesday, Colombo was arrested again, this time charged with refusing to answer questions about the mafia. This man is John Sonny Francis. He's now serving 50 years in Leavenworth Federal Prison for conspiring to rob banks across the country. Francis, who has been arrested countless times, was described as a rising young lieutenant in the Brooklyn Mafia and one of the most dangerous mobsters in the country. These women are the wives, sisters, and friends of the Colombo and Francis families. They made themselves available to NBC News to talk about the FBI. Mrs. Loretta La Rosa, sister of Joseph Colombo Sr. Mrs. Carol Colombo, daughter-in-law of Joseph Colombo Sr. Mrs. Tina Francis, wife of Sonny Francis. Mrs. Dorothy Micchio, a longtime friend. All of them claim the FBI is harassing their families, not just the men, but the women and children, too. They try to push their way into my home. Who's they now? The FBI. They identify themselves. They call me by my first name, Loretta. I says, how do you know my first name? Oh, you must be Joe Colombo's sister. Yes, I am Joe Colombo's sister. What is it you want at this house? Well, we'd like to talk to your husband. My husband's a working man. What do you want? What, what is it you want of this man? He's working, and I don't think he should be bothered now. Well, we want to get to your brother. Why? Why do you want to get to my brother? Well, we're going to put him away. Why are you going to put him away? What has my brother done to be put away? We're going to put him away. We're going to put his children away. For what reason? They're good boys. They work. My brother works. What, what is the reason we want him off the streets? I says, well, if you can do it, Fine. I think it's against the constitutional rights. When a man doesn't do anything wrong in this country, he can't be put behind bars. They says we have our ways of putting them behind bars. We'll frame them. They get me upset because they sit in front of my house. They bother my husband. If I put the baby carriage outside, I gotta be afraid that one of them is gonna be drunk and come over. And in fact, a man did come over to the carriage. I don't know who he was. But one man would go over to a baby carriage and pull the blankets down. And they, that I, I feel that they were going to plant something in that carriage. And I, I walked over and I said, what do you want? And he said, nothing. I just wanted to look at the baby. We were all in a car. There were the seven, seven children, my husband and I. He decided, it was in the summer, and he decided to take us to a diner. And the children were begging, please, Daddy, let's go, let's go. And he did. We got to the diner. Naturally, they were in back of us. They always are. I mean, I can't see why they're following seven children and a mother and father. I mean, if what would anybody do with seven children in a car? So we got to the restaurant, and I got out. And I'm sure, to this day, my husband hasn't said it to me. I'm sure that they made some remark about me to him. And, of course, he got a little excited. And, of course, I interrupted. And they said, go ahead, Sonny, do something to me. And the other one pulled a gun out of his pocket and said, go ahead, because I'm dying to do it. My son passed away a year and a half ago. 
he was seven and a half years old. To make it exact, he was seven years, 11 months, and 23 days. He was laid out in Palais Funeral Parlor on 15th Street. Now, what would the FBI want with a seven and a half year old kid? Does he take numbers? Does he kill somebody? Then you say, yes, guilt by association for what? To see who was coming in to see my son? Um, they follow you home. They make nasty remarks. They call us pigs. They call us mafia, which doesn't exist. It's a myth. There is no such thing as a mafia. I'm supposed to be the sister of the biggest mafia in New York. I don't know what the word means. My children ask me, what is the mafia? I don't know what the mafia is. I know we work in our family. I know my father has worked all his life. I know my brother has worked all his life. He held two jobs, not one. He worked in a machine plant, came home at night. It wasn't enough to feed his three children, and he drove a pie wagon at night. Do people want to know this about Joe Colombo? No. What they want to know about Joe Colombo, he's gangster. He's connected with every dirty thing there is. We, the family, know he isn't. They say the Italians, their mafias, they're this, which doesn't exist. These men I know, some when I was a child, and they used to kick me, pardon the French, if I made them behind if we played hooky. They used to play dice on the corner. Is there anything wrong? We, you, the girls, used to yell, chicky, the cops. Take the money, go into the movies. The FBI doesn't gamble. They don't drink. They don't go out with girls. What do they do? Why do they become priests? The charges made by these women against the Federal Bureau of Investigation have been presented by NBC News to the FBI here in New York and in Washington. The FBI has refused to comment. But the man who the families say is mainly responsible for the harassment did comment. United States Attorney General John Mitchell. He was interviewed in Washington by NBC News correspondent Carl Stern. I categorically deny that there is an activity of harassment. That would be entirely non-productive. There is an entirely uh, different concept to uh, investigation if the uh, individuals involved are perpetrators of crime or if they could possibly produce evidence, they might be the subjects of investigation. But there would be no rhyme or reason why harassment or shadowing or anything else would be carried out with respect to somebody who was not involved in the actual crime. But uh, is the uh, mafia, though, uh, the, the largest participant in organized crime? Well, I don't know as I could say with certainty that there's any particular ethnic group that participates in organized crime beyond those of another. There have been, as you know from your work and reading the newspapers, a number of people of Italian uh, descent who have been involved in organized crime activities along with other ethnic groups. And uh, the exact number I couldn't put a finger on. And finally, are, are you fully satisfied that the uh, FBI has been, that all the incidents that have occurred involving the FBI and the task force have simply been a matter of routine investigation rather than harassment? Well, they're not harassment, nor are they routine investigation. They're very, in, it's a very intense investigation directed against those individuals who are engaged in organized crime activities. So maybe it's the intensity of it that's rubbing against uh, these it people. It may very well be, and if the uh, people who are complaining are those who are uh, participating in the organized crime activities, uh, they not only uh, uh, have that... Uh, past that they can look to, but they can look to the future for even more of it. Tonight, for NBC News.